training. Coming out month, and now 
it was just crickets. I mean, nobody would respond to me. Um, nobody was liking my posts anymore. Um, I had a total of three mascara sales in August and September. Three. <laughs> okay. And it was really, really um, defeating. I felt down. I felt discouraged. Um, I didn't really know what to do. So I kept teaching, obviously. And I kept posting. And um, I call month two and three the make it or break it month. If you are willing to work your business behind the scenes, if you are willing to keep posting, to keep watching YouTube videos, to keep going to trainings, to bugging the heck out of your upline, um, you will make it in this business, okay? But you can't give up. And that's what's so hard, you know, the whole like, when the going gets tough, tough get going. I mean, you, you have to keep working this business and it's so, so hard when you continue to hear nothing back, okay? So um, I, I did that, I, I kept working. I think when business is slow, I don't know if any of you have heard of the list of 100. Um, I talk a lot about this with um, my girls and my team, which um, a ton of my girls are here. Would you guys stand up real quick? We got an anchor. What your list of 100 is, go through your phone, go through your Facebook, go through your Instagram, go through your old address book, you know where we used to actually write down people's names and addresses, and get a list of 100 together. After you have your list of 100, you start reaching out, okay? You short and sweet messages. I know some of us sit there like, oh, this girl would never want to do it. Oh, that girl, she doesn't even wear makeup. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't even know how to put eyeliner on, you guys. I, I had no idea. People see me today with makeup on and they're like, who is that girl, you know? Because I didn't know. And those people, you guys, are the ones that you want to target and you want to reach out to. No it's, unique. It's so much, it is so much more than mascara, okay? It might be a financial thing. It might be um, a stay-at-home mom who just wants something to do. For me, it was connection with women. I didn't have time to have friends and now I do because they're all social media friends. Okay, but I get to interact with them every single day and I look forward to it. Okay, so what, what is it that somebody that you haven't talked to in 20 years might want to jump on this bandwagon with you for? Okay, and that's where you make your list and you start sifting through it. And keep yourself a notepad. I reached out to this girl on this day. I reached out to this person on this day and this is what they said. Okay, so keep yourself a, note, a, a running tab of what's going on. Um, with your messages, I want to talk a little bit about messaging. I call it um, word diarrhea. Sorry, it's a little descriptive this morning, but we haven't eaten, so we're good. Um, don't word vomit or word diarrhea on people when you're reaching out to them. We get so excited because we have an amazing company, an amazing product, with amazing women, and we start bleh, all over people, and they don't want to read it. Okay, it's the same thing with our videos. How many of you will watch a video that's longer than a minute or two? Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I don't. I don't. All right? So with our wording, you have to keep it short and sweet. Okay? Reread it to yourself. Is this something that you would take the time to read? Is this something that you would take the time to respond to? Okay? And if it's not, rewrite it. Does it grab your attention? Is it interesting? That kind of stuff. A, a big key thing that I always tell my girls too, any message that you write, even if it's just a like, hey, how was your day message, or hey, just checking in, always end it with a question. In this business, we want to um, create a sense of urgency and a sense of connection, and you do that with a question, okay? Even if it's like, what do you think? Or, um, how did it work for you? Or how's your family? Okay, end with a question. Start the dialogue. If you're like, hey, just checking in, hope your product's going great, period. That's gonna be the end of that conversation. Okay, people don't have the time to respond. But if they feel they have to respond, they will. So any message you ever write, follow up, check in, answering a question, answer a question with a question. Okay, keep the dialogue going. All right? Oh, and if you guys have any questions while I'm talking, just raise your hands. Okay? You can even shout out. I'm really used to that. Um, but 
but don't get frustrated, all right? I tell my girls this all the time too, the three Ps. When you're out there sending messages and follow-ups and nobody's getting back to you, remember the three Ps. Positive, we're always positive about our product, okay? Persistent, we are always there. Whether it's a selfie, a video, posting about, <coughs> posting about coming to the conference today. How many of you posted about coming here today? All right. You guys, that's called attraction marketing, okay? You want people to be, want to be like you. That's what you want, okay? You want people to want to be a part of what you are a part of. That's what you're actually working in. Okay, putting a blurb on there about, I'm so excited to hang out with my wife sisters and go to the Oregon Beauties training today. I wish everybody could go on this journey with me. That's attraction marketing. Okay, so positive, persistent, and then patience. I had a girl on my team message me when I was in the lake yesterday. She's like, this girl's signing up. And I have been talking to her for a while now about building her team. And she's like, I know, I'm doing it. And she does, she's consistent, she posts every day, her posts are good. And you guys, it just happens. It happens when you least expect it. It usually happens when you're like, mm -hmm. and then you get that message that so-and-so signed up to join your team, and you're like, <laughs> yes, okay? Yeah. So it, it does, but you have to be persistent, you have to be positive, and then you have to have patience, okay? Um, People always ask me, like, Mandy, um, so I've, I've had two home parties in a year. I don't do home parties because I don't have time. I love them, but I don't have time. My business is strictly done through um, Facebook, okay? And I know that that's weird and some people think that Facebook is super old, but it works for me. Um, and then I also obviously have mascara. How many of us have mascara on us right now? Okay. I was gonna stop by Starbucks and get a gift card for the person that had the most mascara in their purse, but I got a speedy ticket this morning uh, coming back from the lake. So I apologize. So those of you that do have mascara in your purses, good job, good job. <laughs> Um, so I, I do everything through Facebook. I don't do as many Facebook parties as I used to because I've built my clientele. But people always ask me, like, where do you find people to host? Nobody wants to host. First of all, it's in your wording. Short, sweet, positive, upbeat, ending with a question, okay? And then the second thing, you guys, I haven't hosted a party for somebody that I know, like personally know, and I can't remember how long. Okay, so your network should build off of your sales, okay? Every party that you host, you need to think of it not just as sales, but you need to think of it as building your business, okay? From a party, I, oh, my goal was to always have at least one other person host a party for me, okay? And so, am I in there just doing my wah, wah, wah posts? No, I'm in there asking, I do a, a opener post, like, hey, welcome to the group, I'm Mandy, I'm totally the outlaw here, I don't know anybody, let's get to know each other. Okay, do a couple of posts that aren't about makeup. Again, women want connection. You have to, um, to drive on that, that connection piece. You have to get them involved with the group, okay? So, I, like I said, I can't tell you the last time I hosted a party for somebody I know. And honestly, you guys, I can't tell you the last person I signed a girl up to join our team that I know, like personally. Okay, I've just met them through social media, and we've become friends. Okay, we've, we've got to know each other. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, I printed this off, and I want to show you guys this. Okay. Um, I always say the success to your business is in the follow-up. Like, hands down, it's in your follow-up. And all my girls know this. This is right off of our website. Okay, if you go to your website, if you go to orders, my orders, or whatever, and my orders, it will pull it up by month for you. Um, I used to spend hours and hours like entering in Excel. I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, you can just print your orders right off of Unique. And it also gives you their email address, because not everybody has a Facebook, and who, and people like personal emails. I feel like emails have actually become postcards as sad as it is. Okay, so not only does it give you their name, what they bought, whose party they ordered off of, so when you send them that private little message, which I just copy and paste, um, say, say, hey Sal, 
Holly, Mandy, if you need, just checking in to see how your products are going. Um, do you have any questions? Oh, this is what I type. Okay, when they write back, nope, everything's great, loving it. Then I respond, perfect, I'm so glad you love the product. I would love to host a private online Facebook group with you, just like Sarah did, because I have her name right here, okay? Just like Sarah did, and we could, we could earn you, we try to earn you some free product, super fun, super easy. What do you think? Question mark, okay? So that, this is, this is your connection right here, ladies. This is like bold. And I write all over this thing. I write stars if they've responded. I write happy faces if they want to host a party. Um, I write hearts if they ordered more than $100 worth for me. Um, so use this, okay? Don't do more work than you need to do. It's all right here. And I have a notebook full of them. It's interesting, I went back and looked at um, my last July one and I've looked at my previous months, and they used to be like this thick. Every month they were huge, okay? Because I was slinging mascara, all right? Now, this is May and June, right here, okay? And so because of my follow-up, and because of the relationships I built through Facebook, because I go in and check on my clients all the time, I like their posts, I comment on their stuff, I, I send them little messages, I have like, 20 to 30 consistent clients that buy big from me. So I don't have to sling mascara anymore, okay? Or just feel like I have to. Does that kind of make sense, yep. okay? It's built, it's taken time, it's taken almost a year, and I've worked my butt off, okay? But it's, it's gotten to this, and it's, and it's really nice. And I like the relationship that I have with my clients. They're my friends now, okay? Um, that's kind of the 80-20 rule, and I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos in my car because that's the only time I'm alone is in my car and when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> um, I teach my said, see, I'm kind of out there, sorry. 80-20, um, so 80 plus 20 is 100, right? So 100% of your sales, 80% of those sales are gonna be like singlets, like a mascara. They might come back, they might not. Okay? But 20% of the people that buy from you are going to be the bulk of your sales. And that is the 20% that you have to focus on and you have to nourish and you have to build and you have to create that relationship because they're the ones that are going to make you successful. Okay? So I guess my challenge to you is to work your butt off to get tons of sales. Okay? You can do it. All right? Once you get to that point, nourish and flourish those relationships, that 20%. Okay, did they buy two mascaras for you? Did they, are they a repeat customer? Um, did they buy one for them and their sisters? Did they buy a collection? Yes? Do you have a time frame that you follow up after? Is it yes. Okay. Yes, I do. So what I do is I do the 15th and the 30th, or the 31st. So mid-month I'll print it, and then, excuse me, end of the month I'll print it. That's a really good question. Yeah, so I do two. Because I say about two weeks, Okay, sometimes I message people and they're like, I haven't even tried it yet. I feel like I'm stressing them out. So I say about two weeks, a week to make sure they get the product, a week for them to play with the product, because we all know that most women don't use it correctly the first time that they use it. So helping them and stuff like that. So two weeks is what I do. Okay, um, so focus on that 20%. Um, I get asked the question a lot, if some, what if I'm hosting a party on some social media aspect and somebody in the group will write a comment like, oh, I have the product and I love it. Okay, that's great. I personal message them, write them. I friend request them, so now we're friends on Facebook. I add them to my makeup group, which is always ongoing, okay? And then I message them. Hey girl, so glad you love the product. I'm having so much fun partying with you in so-and-so's group. Um, have you ever thought about posting a, a private online Facebook group? Okay? A lot of people are like, that's stealing clients. It's not. Because I've had a ton of girls respond back to me and be like, oh, no, thank you. I've already done one. I get my mascara from, from Susie. That's awesome. Like, I'm so glad Susie's doing her job. Okay? But there's a lot of people out there that don't do follow-ups. Okay? And that don't, don't stay on top of their clients. That don't print their stuff off. Okay? And if that's the case, I want to provide them good, unique service. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 
Um, that's, that's another way. And obviously, I'm totally respectful. If they have a rep, that's cool. I, that's awesome. Okay? Um, but that's how you build your network. Your Facebook, you guys, or whatever social media app you use, kind of isn't yours anymore, if that makes sense. Like, I still post pictures of my kids and stuff like that. But it's, it's, it's business. And the reason it is business is because I used to have 200 friends on Facebook, and now I have like 1,500. Because I go through and just add people. And I get to know them that way, because I don't have time to walk them all. And I don't have time to go, I wish I had time to go to the park, but I don't. Okay, so that's how I've kind of built my network. And it's crazy, some of my best friends, I never even knew them when I friend requested them, but now we're, we talk every day. Okay, so what I do is anybody that buys from me off this list, I friend request them, I add them to my Facebook group, my unique group, okay? And that's how I check back in with them, and that's how I've built my network. So if a girl ever says to me, I don't, I've talked to all my friends. No, you haven't. <laughs> Get some more. Get some more friends. Okay. Our world has made it so we can have a lot of friends. Yes. Okay, so go get some more. Um, I'm almost done, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have a question. First. Yes. So, because you kind of touched on it, and it's something that when I first signed up, we talked a lot about, okay. but if you don't have a lot of time, yes. how can you create like the most efficient, let's say 30 minutes a day, or like what would you... If you had 30 minutes a day, what would I focus on? Um, Probably my follow-ups. Yeah, I, I would say um, for sure my follow-ups. I would go through that list of people that have bought from me um, and make sure that they are getting really good service from me. Yeah, and try to build them into my clientele. That's what I would do. Yeah? How do you track your cash and carry sales since those won't be on that? That's a really good question. Um, I don't, um, I am not a huge advocate for having like a ton of product on hand. Um, I, I got into this business to make money, and I feel like when I have a pile of product right here, I haven't made money. Um, so what I always have on hand is mascara. That's it. Um, and I'll always you know, post like, hey, I'm doing a bubble order, and people will get on that. Um, don't say you're free shipping, just say you're doing an order. Uh, so people will get in on that, but I am not a huge component of having um, a ton. People know me, they know where I'm at, they know that I can order the product anytime, um, but the main thing that women want and want now is mascara. So I use my Y-Cash and my half offs to buy mascara. That's what I do. And the, and the way I keep track of it is I have a, um, a separate just little business account and everything that comes out of that is unique. So I purchase the mascara with it, when I get the money from clients, that money goes back into that same account. You can use your PayPal, or oh, sorry, PayPal, PayQuicker. You can use your PayQuicker account the same way. Buy your mascara from your PayQuicker, and then, um, oh, I guess you probably could put money back in it, could you? You can, you can transfer. put money back in it? Okay. Um, so, e so either way, I use just a regular checking account, but separate. Any other questions so far? Sorry, I've been talking like a mile minute. Yeah. Um, I sell a lot of cash on, or mascara on hand, and I just keep a little notebook or my phone right then and there. I, I have a phone that's just for unique, and I put, add them to my phone right then and there. And I send them a text message maybe an hour later saying thank you for your order today. It was really nice meeting you. Then I've made the contact. I have their info. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, she, she keeps a separate little like running tally, whether it's a notebook or like the notes on your phone. So when somebody buys something on hand, she has their phone number, their contact information. She gives them the product right then and has it written down, like who bought and what they bought and how much. And then she can also send them a thank you note via text message or whatever. Yeah. You use what? A receipt book. Oh, 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 like a yeah. okay, like a written receipt book. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right on. Okay. You guys are way more efficient than I am. Hundred <laughs> percent. I'm like, I'll drop it at the gas station while the kids are in the bathroom. Go. That's okay. <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm almost done. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, your posts. When you 
guys are posting on Facebook. Hopefully you're posting at least once a day. I've actually gone away from posting in my group, like my personal makeup group on Facebook, and I post more just on my main page because I've tried to incorporate unique into my life. Meaning like, um, posting yoga with the kids, hashtag unique life, or hashtag unique kids. So I'm not like, hey, did you guys know that unique bought this yogurt for me and my kids? Okay, so I've tried to really incorporate unique into me in a roundabout way. Do the same thing. Be a real person, you guys. Don't be, don't be a makeup girl. Be a real person that has real life things that they go through. Now, I want to touch on this really quick. Try to keep the negative at bay, okay? Nobody wants to be friends or follow somebody or buy makeup from somebody that always has a problem in their life, okay? So, be on Facebook to be positive. Again, attraction marketing, you guys. You want people to be a part of what you are a part of. And you do that by being happy, okay? And loving this makeup and getting to do fun things. And, you know, I'm sure those of us that are going to convention, there'll be a thousand pictures of convention on there, okay? Because we want people to know what we're doing and we want people to know that we're having fun doing it, okay? So incorporate unique just into your daily life without it being like, Okay, um, and, and, and that's very easy. There's a lot of people that are very good at it, and what I did when I first started is I became friends with them, and I copied them, okay? I've seen them. I think copying is the best form of flattery, okay? So I would write the same thing about my kids that she wrote for her kids, okay? And, and, it, and it's great, we're both having a good time, okay? Um, but it works. is bad and people stop buying jewelry and handbags and beach body women will still buy makeup okay yep. even if they don't have like a dollar in their purse they will find a way to buy their makeup okay and that's why you guys you, you can do this okay you can do this thank you
I hit Fast Start on January 29th, 14 days after signing. Wow. wow. Woo! Girls to use this. 
Our customers love to hear our voices. They want to hear us excited about this product because we are excited, right? It's amazing. And we know that, but sometimes through just typing, they can't hear that. They can't see it on our faces. They need to hear it in our voice. So push that record button. I have some elderly people. They, come on, they, they're slow typers. They don't know how to navigate. Get on the phone with them. I don't care. I give them my phone number. I'll sit on the phone and walk them through a single mascara sale for an hour if it takes. Because guess what? When she comes back, it's going to be to me. And she'll probably call me and make me walk through it again. And I mean, I have seven bucks. <laughs> give me their credit card numbers over the phone. And I nice. Charity, really. Like, you really, I hope you don't do this with anybody else. Like, but really, they need to feel like you care. And whether it's a voice message or a phone or you need to touch them personally. And sometimes through the network marketing, that's hard to do. But there are so many options as far as that voice chat and things that we can. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a little changing experience, unique, and we all know it, and I've seen it, we've seen it, it's like, my family's future is the reason why I continue to push, 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 push. And when, when I feel, because I'll, I'll tell you, I have about 500 girls on my team, and we're starting to grow at a huge rapid pace now and I, I even have wanted to give up I really have but my family's future Derek and Melanie are the most caring considerate kind-hearted people I get so emotional <laughs> that you will ever meet when you guys get to meet them you will feel what they are doing for us and it's so empowering and that's what keeps me going too, because I know that my family's future is going to be massive. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, when, you, when you lay your head on that pillow and you're thinking, I can't do this anymore, call me. I'll, I'll just kick you right, <laughs> right where you need it. Yeah, I think that's definitely exactly what she said. I mean, I started this as a hobby. I started this out of boredom. I mean, I can't, I don't want to stand up here and say I didn't need the money. I don't care about the money. Obviously, we all care about the money, but I did it as a hobby, but I fell in love with it, and um, I've seen it grow to this in six months, so to me, it's like I can't even, I can't even picture out in a year <coughs> what this could be. Is it exhausting? Absolutely. You know, there's a lot of times that I lose a lot of sleep or, or sometimes I feel like, oh, I couldn't be doing this with my kids, you know, but I have to think into that future, your your future and what what this company could potentially be. And I, I feel like I'm proof of that. In six months, if this is where I am and this is what I've done, you know, it's really easy to see the possibility. So, yeah. Screen is there some love? It's hard. It's really hard. Like I said, I wake up the, the first. I mean, now that I'm seven, they'll probably sleep till eight. I don't care. I, I wake up at eight and I commit that time to my business. And that time is always committed to my business. And it's nice because I can, I literally make myself lay in bed with my three year old. He doesn't need me there while he naps just so I can be like this on my phone working my business. And then at night after they go to bed, and of course, you know, you're going to get PMs during dinner, and you're going to, my family, they have gotten used to it, sorry, my phone's at the table at dinner, you know, if somebody has a question, then of course you're going to have, you have to balance what works for you. If, if 
you feel like something's being neglected, then you have to find that balance, but at the same time, you have to work your business. And it's interesting because they So I'm starting to, to talk to girls that want to work underneath me from other states. I'm a very hands on person. Like when I get somebody, I want to train them, I want to be right there. Yeah. And I feel like this is important. How how, when I get someone who's interested from another state or somewhere far from me, how do I find out what's going on in their area? How do I connect them to one-on-one -on -one when I can't be there? Video, video chat. We have a lot of video chats. Yeah. Video chat, FaceTime. It's hard, but you, you know, and you really have. You want to spend that. As soon as I find somebody, if they can, I spend a good, which we all probably do, hour walking them through, hour, two hours walking them through. And if they can't do video chat, always phone. I mean, I never try to find somebody and set them up via message or email or PM ever. Like, it's always face-to-face, -face, video, or phone only. Is there a way to find out what meetings like this are happening? Yeah. When you're not connected to them, they, okay. yeah. we have a yeah. <laughs> the team lash lovers. Like their own the Facebook. So like the state of Washington, I knew absolutely nobody. Like Barney signed me up in Eastern Oregon, and I know nobody. And the state of Washington, I found a girl. She said, oh, there's a unique Facebook page, and this is what got me here. I know absolutely nobody here, and this is, you know, that Washington page got me to the Oregon page, which got me to W. Okay. So every state has one. Sorry. You know what? You know what we'll do too is I'll be sure to um, I'll get with Jennifer and we'll collect all the Facebook pages and all that, and I'll be sure to post it on our Perfect. yeah yeah because there is just one specific event uh, group. So yeah. So and then my final point number three. Um, you have when you sign somebody. Not just sign these people. I've experienced this firsthand. And let them go. Just you have got to take care of your downline, ladies. These are the people that are going to push your numbers every month. You have got to train them to be like you. You have got to teach them the things I'm saying. Hard work, customer service, you know, follow-up, and train your downline. You know, I have all my downline in a chat room that want to be there, and all day they help each other. Hey, do you have a great mascara picture? Sure, you know, 20 people jump in that chat out of my 75 girls, and we'll share pictures, or, you know, we're always active on our team page. We share each other's videos. It's, it's not competitive at all. I feel like you have got to, now one day I'm going to have 500 downline, and it's going to be crazy. But for now, I don't care. 75, I am trying to build each one of them and train them to do what I do and be like I am. I want them to succeed. And if that keeps following up with them and walking them through whatever they're having trouble with, or I tell them all the time, if you have a customer and you don't understand what color BB cream she should be using or what face wash on her face, Throw me in that PM with you. I'll help you. I don't care if that's not my customer. You know, I'll, I'll help walk you through that. Sometimes I'm working with other people's customers and with my downline more than I am my own, you know, but it doesn't matter. You have got to take care of that downline. You can't just send, find somebody and send them on their way and not look, up, look out for them. Like, that is so huge. You have got to build that downline.
you need to give them the opportunity to be there and to help each other, like have them in the chat room. Some of my girls aren't in that chat room. They don't want the notifications all day. That's fine. But the ones that are, we're in there helping each other. You have, you're helping them on their business. And the ones that don't want to, I mean, you, you can't. You can't make them all. They, they're not going to, but. Yeah, totally follow up and check in with them. Oh, I, I do do.